Hello. So, this is Charles, or King Charles, or Prince Charles. He is my 15 year old cat. Say hey, he's not happy. He's not happy about it. Okay. Um, I got him before Adam and I um, were together, and he was my baby before I had babies. And he was actually an inside cat. Um, he started tearing up the furniture, so I got him declawed on the front and basically made him a house cat for life or so I thought. Um, then when Adam and I got together, um, Charles started escaping and he wanted to get out all the time. Um, he liked being outside way better than he liked being inside. And um, I always worried about him because he didn't have any front claws. And, um, and then I felt bad because I was like, I basically handicapped him for his whole life. He's basically not going to be able to live outside and take care of himself um but he loved being outside so much he would sit at the window all day and watch the birds and um we just uh when we had our first baby it's okay it's okay i'm talking to, hey i'm talking about you for a minute then when we had sydney um she was all over the floor i had this big thing about cat hair being all over my new baby and um so I was like okay Charles be free um plus he started using the bathroom not where he was supposed to in the house and that was a big problem for me also so um yeah he <laughs> we let him venture out and though I was concerned about him it wasn't like I didn't think anything was really gonna happen to him. We live way out in the country. Um, it was fine. So he loved it. He did great outside. He would catch um, little those little voles. He would catch them all the time and bring them up and stuff. And so he was basically loving life being outside. Um, then we moved to this house and I was nervous because he wasn't used to this place. And um, I didn't know what was in the neighborhood, dogs that might come wandering around. Um, I mean, we have a dog now and all that kind of stuff. And, um, and this is just a bigger space for him to roam. And he absolutely loves being a farm cat. He is a killer. He is a natural born killer. He loves to bring us presents like, yeah like little baby snakes um humongous field rats like huge like foot long field rats wait i'm not done talking about you oh, oh. he's getting feisty um and stop and our sheep actually worship him i'll show you a clip of that it's pretty funny um, you might have seen that in another video, but our sheep actually worship him. I'm not really sure what that's about. It's really kind of strange, um, but it's it's also very interesting. So this is Charles. He's really aggravated with me right now because I'm restricting him. So I'm gonna get bitten in a second if I don't let him go. So <laughs> this is my old fella. I'm so glad he's still with us. He loves my kids. They love him. Travis calls this his best friend. Um, he's just a good boy and he's a good farm cat. So he definitely earns his keep around here. Okay, I'm releasing him. There he goes. Why didn't you want to sit on my 